All right, 60 second summary for the new Gouging Fire EX deck. You have no idea how happy it makes me to see Gouging Fire do well. When it was first revealed, I thought it had a lot of potential, able to deal 260 damage for 3 energy on a basic. But Japanese results were disappointing, and it faded away like my sanity after playing live for over 2 years. Thankfully though, it's seen success outside of Japan, even winning a tournament in Thailand. Basically, what you want to do is get 3 energy on Gouging Fire and use Blaze Blitz for 260. Normally that would be tough, but with a Magma Basin attachment, as well as either Professor Sada or Mela, plus a manual attachment, it can be powered up in one turn. Then you unleash a powerful attack. The drawback is that you can't use Blaze Blitz again until Gouging Fire leaves the active, so either use Heat Blast for 60 or get it out of there with your many switches. Since 260 can be a bit low, there's Maximum Belt to boost it to 310 against the X's, Need more power? There's the Mole Trace from Pokemon Go, which increases the attack power of basic fire types by 10, and it stacks. Or go with Iron Valiant EX and spread around 20 damage counters with those switch cards. Especially in the Charizard matchup, you need to use a lot of math to make sure you're delaying taking a KO as long as possible, but still keeping them within Valiant range. But on the flip side, since Gouging Fire plays so many switch cards and jet energy, the Snorlax matchup is surprisingly good. You should still concede against Snorlax to push all of them to Master League, but you can easily beat them off if you want to. Alright, we got this. They're playing a Mew. We can knock out that Mew turn one. Yeah, I'll just I'll just edit it out. I'll I'll dub over it and say, oh no, this is good. What are you doing, Shiny Ray? Are you are you stream sniping right now? Is Shiny Ray stream sniping? Wait, what are you playing? I saw fighting energy. I've seen lightning energy. Why are you playing? What is this? Does anyone know what I'm facing right now? Okay, and reminder, this is their turn one. They're having a... Raging... Right, right. I, I put that out of my mind. No, okay, Afro Samurai, it's a you got a raging clue. I've got a I've got a raging clue. Ooh, it's pointing this way. Oh yeah, I hope I don't spray any clue goo. Alright, we're uh we're gonna be fine. God, that's an ugly looking card. Alright, we're gonna be fine. And Chris Christie, no, this is Raging Bulk, the Palkia build. Okay, as long as Squawker Billy is in the deck, we're going to be fine. Okay, well, we're going to lose a bunch of Switch cards. Alright, Squawker Billy's in the deck. That's good. Alright, let's go... Where that and that. Okay, so Gouging Fire KOs everybody. Uh, but I can knock out the Mew... But this is not the hand to do it with. So I could knock out the Mew. But I think if everything goes wrong... Oh god, what do I do? So the Iron Valiant is not necessary in this matchup. I just need to get some good draws here. Then we go Switch Cart. Just give me give me a Magma Basin or something. Okay, that that's literally the worst thing you could have given me. Thank you. <laughs> just a little bit of help here. Okay, just a little bit of help. No, like, just, just help. That's all I need. Just a little teensy bit of help here, and we'll just be, we'll be right as, right as rain here. Okay, I can forest seal stone for magma basin, and we can knock out the dude, and then we have Mela for next turn. Okay, God, why was the, why was this so difficult? Okay, so we go uh, Forest Seal Stone on the Hentai. We go Star Alchemy for Magma Basin. Um, I could knock out the Palkia if I went for Prime Catcher, but we can't do that, can we? All right, so we go Magma Basin to the Entai, Entei, and then we go. Energy, because this matchup is just who can take the knockouts the fastest of the other two prize Pokemon. 
And then we go knockout, and then we have Mela. Oh my god, see, that's what I told you. I told you the game is going to be broken the rest of the stream because I looked at a card as an attack was happening. And then, of course, we get the worst things off the prizes if I'm trying to use Mela. But, but yeah, I told you, if you embed in a card during an attack that literally breaks PDCGL and you just you you lose your mind the rest of the game, the game is on fire. So let that be a lesson. Don't look at Pokemon cards in Pokemon TCG Live. And Afro Samurai, I use the Entei pre pre squawk ability, so you can't use it twice. So yes, I did use the Entei's ability, but I used it pre squawk ability. Okay, this is fine. It's not good, but it's fine. I'll just send up the Radiant Greninja. I think we... Oh, I don't want triple gouging fire, though. I need a... Okay, that's good. So I can't have triple gouging fire on the field. We're going to attach there. And then I can... Oh, God, how much energy? I got a lot of energy in the discard pile. All right, so we want Nest Ball for Iron Valiant. Or I guess I could go for Mole Trace, but I can't retreat it, is the problem. Alright, well, I'd rather draw I'd rather draw two than draw one, right? Alright, and then we go attach to this guy, because there's no way they have a bosses or a prime catcher or something. Literally guaranteed they got nothing. 100%. Their deck is trash. Shiny Ray doesn't play Luminion. Literally the worst Raging Bulk player in the world. We're going to knock out this Palkia and it's going to be great. Okay, well they got Sada. But they're, they're not going to have a Prime Catcher. That's not going to happen. Curtin, don't jinx it. If they, if they get a Prime Catcher off of this one, Curtin, you're banned. You're banned forever. Yeah, you got you to report Shiny Ray. So they'll go Cycling Road. They are really digging for the Prime Catcher right now. And if they get the Prime Catcher, we're kind of screwed. But if they don't get the Prime Catcher, we're still kind of probably screwed a little bit, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we promote this one in case I whiff uh, any of the cards that I need. So, yeah, we go... I have to put the Valiant down... We go Jet Energy, the active. So I have the attack. I really don't care about putting them to three cards instead of four. Oh, TMD Evolution, such a busted card right now. <laughs> okay, so we go... Oh, because they're just going to knock out my dude. But I have to knock out the Palkia to at least make their life a little bit more difficult. So we go boom... Retreat, I go Magma Basin into the Gouging Fire EX. I will waste the de-evolution because it's unnecessary. And then we go Blaze Blitz. They will obviously come up with the Raging Bolt that has three energy on it because that one would survive a Blaze Blitz. So I either need a Lost Vacuum or a bunch of Switch cards. Or if the Magma Basin stays in play, I can bosses, you know, the Squawk ability or something. So I have a lot of win conditions. It's just this Iron Valiant build plays like eight Switch cards. And, you know, that's not always a good thing when, uh, you know, it's not always a good thing to play eight Switch cards when you want consistency. But I don't think you're going to find another Cycling Road. No, you're not going to, you're not going to find a Cycling Road, okay? You are not going to find another Stadium. You don't play stadiums in this deck, okay? That one cycling road, that was your... You started whacking off a little bit, but then you got tired halfway through and you just went with the one... What is Delphox for? It hits the bench. So you can you can go snipe, snipe, 120, 120. GG, baby. And Pokemon promos, how are you doing? So yeah, the Delphox is good. It can also, you know, stall them a little bit with Eerie Glow. But it's mostly just doing, you know, it's against single prize decks. You can snipe, snipe. So it's like if they have one prize card remaining and they just have single prizers, then you go snipe. It also helps with Roaring Moon. 
because you can knock out two baby Roaring Moon just by using Valiant, so it's very good at hitting the bench. And then we go, easy win. Easy win, Shiny Ray. You never stood a chance. You know, as soon as you saw a Trust Your Pilot's name, that's when you concede. Let that be a lesson to all of you watching this in the YouTube video. If you see Trust Your Pilot's name on the Versus screen, that just means it's time to, to clap those sandy cheeks because I'm going to blaze blitz all over the place. Oh, God. You know, that PDCGL is such a well-made game, isn't it? <laughs> PDC, such a well-made game. There's nothing wrong with PDCGL. Okay, this is Arceus. I do kind of wish I'd gone first now. But if they whiff an energy... <laughs> if they whiff an energy attachment, we'll be totally fine. But this is a matchup where, like, escape rope, you know, the, the Valiant Entei deck, pre-rotation, really got by with escape rope and was really good. Okay, Nest Ball, yes. I can... Oh, God, do I squawk a Billy here? Does... Is there a pal pad in the deck? Of course not. It's the other one that does. I think I still have to go for squawk a Billy, though. All right, then we go Magma Basin, Switch Cart... And then squawk and squeeze, baby. Energan, truer words. Okay, well, <laughs> this is, uh, I swear, this is, uh, this is a gouging fire deck, I swear. Okay, and then we go research. And there's also eight switch cards. I swear there's, I swear there's switch cards in this deck. All right, I think I go Magma Basin to the Mole Trace. And then switch into the mole trace. Oh god. Um Yeah, I guess I guess this makes the most sense. Instead of using Radiant Greninja, because if I use Radiant Greninja, I could whiff an attack next turn. At least with this play, I am threatening an attack with Entei next turn. And Curtain, because I want to put them on odd prizes. So, I don't want to have an Entei with damage on it. You know, maybe in the long run that is a good idea. You know, maybe you are right and I'm going to regret this decision. But I, I just wanted to put them on odd prizes. And it also it also shuts off Countercatcher as well. So, if they play Countercatcher and they knock out the Mole Trace, it would be shut off. Because I know I'm not knocking out that Arceus next turn. Unless I draw insanely well. But I definitely have a way to to manufacture some things. Because I'm going to promote the Entei. I'm going to Entei. And then I'm going to switch cart. So we're going to do some things. And yeah, this is why Valiant is so good. Because 260 is not enough. I would be 20 short on an Arceus. I'd be 20 short on a Giratina. Um, they haven't... They haven't used their V-Star power yet. Are they not going to use their V-Star power? Okay, I was like, are they going to are they going to go crazy and be like, I'm going to save Starburst for next turn. And you think my play might have been better? Yeah, I mean the Entei it would have been a 210 Yeah, the Entei would have had 210 damage on it. They would have used Choice Belt and they would have taken the knockout. I am a genius. Even when I don't try to be a genius, I'm a genius. That is how smart I am is I don't even have to try to be good. Okay. Oh, wow. They're, uh... <laughs> My Entei is gonna do, like, zero damage to this Arceus. But that's okay. Uh, you know, they put the Choice Belt down. I doubt they play a second Choice Belt. So, we're going to... We gotta go Entei. So, Entei goes up there. I draw the card with Entei, and we got a Nest Ball, that's always good, so we'll go Gouging Fire, and then I need to keep the Greninja, I need to keep all this, so we go Fleet Footed, please give me a supporter, well, that's an energy. I believe it makes the most sense to do that, uh, we obviously want the Magma Basin, and then we go Concealed Cards. Okay, that, that didn't do anything. Um, 
I guess the game plan is go switch card into Valiant. Valiant the Giratina. And then I think, oh man. Because I, I don't have it this turn. We needed a supporter or something. We didn't get that. Okay. So I can... I think I do. I think I do do this. I think I do do knock out the Bidoof. Because if they were banking on a Babarel to draw them cards next turn, they can't. And now I'm back on even prizes so I'm on even prizes again I can math my way to victory but we need to get something right we, we need to get something here they can't take a knockout this turn unless they have a Giratina V-Star if they get a freaking Giratina V-Star I'm gonna be so mad right now I'm gonna literally flip the table so yeah I think oh this is perfect this is perfect, and they can't play their top deck, because if they play their top deck, they can't use Nestash. Alright, we are so in there right now, but I still need to draw cards. I still need to draw some good cards here. Th that is not what I would consider a good card. We, yeah, we do have to keep the Magma Basin, because I know they're playing Pokemon League HQ. There's a Jet Energy, okay. Um... So we, we go Magma Bussin. I don't think I can lose the Jet Energy. That's 130. Do I bother healing? Because if I, if I Jet Energy that, that's bad. And I know that I have all the things. So I think I just switch cart into the Valiant. I, oh god, even the healing is embiggened. Even the healing is gigantified. Okay, then we put more damage on the Giratina. I screwed this up. Oh, I screwed up the order of operations. Oh, we are so cooked. Uh, but no, it's fine. It's fine. We are uh, we never get punished here. Okay, we never ever get punished here. Because what are they going to do? Top deck an Iono and put me out of a good hand? It's literally impossible. You know, if they put a Bidoof down, I don't care. Put a Bidoof down. You got nothing, bro. They're, they're not gonna... Well, a Professor's Research is fine. It's it's an Iono that would be the problem. But... Oh, that could have been so bad. If those were... If I was playing a good deck, Aerie could have been really bad. Okay, so we take the knockout on the Arceus. That's good. I will... Promote... I mean, let's promote this guy just in case we get a switch. Sure, because we're using the Jet Energy 100%. The Giratina V can't take a KO. That's good. Okay, and then do I bench anybody? You know, the Valiants could come in handy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much... I think we just go Blaze Blitz, take the KO, and see what happens. Because if this guy evolves, actually we're fine. Because if it evolves, they're going to run out of energy. So I kind of just picked them apart. We finally have a supporter, finally have a Prime Catcher. I mean, this was a pretty good game by me. And it showcases just how strong 260 is. And also why Iron Valiant is so important. The 20 damage from Iron Valiant gives you a positive matchup. Well... A good, uh, uh, you have a chance to beat Arceus Giratina. <laughs> you know, let's, let's not get carried away. Gouging Fire is still tier 3, and Arceus Giratina is tier 2. But, you know, if you play the baby Moltres build, you need to have two Moltres on the field, which isn't, you know, crazy to think about. Of course, this is ranked. We're, we're in Ultra League. You know, only the best players can get to Ultra League. And then we just Prime Catcher the Giratina, and GG, and you can't win. Because even if they evolve into Giratina V-Star and knock out my Gouging Fire, they're... Yeah, that's fine. I got Prime Catcher. God, see, this is the benefit to PDCGL hating you, is you draw nothing at the beginning of the game, but if you manage to hold out long enough to the end of the game, 
then you finally get everything that you need. So knocking out back-to-back -back Bidoof won me this game. If I don't do that, they can easily pick off the Squawkabilly and uh, the Valiant. So I think if I don't go for the Bidoof, if I take that knockout with the Hentai at the beginning of the game, I also lose this one because they would have Choice Belted. It would have done 230 after the Magma Basin damage. So going for that Moltres literally won me the game. I made a lot of great decisions. So please comment that below. Pilot, wow, you're so smart. You make all the best decisions. Look at those toes. Okay, so they're playing Iron Crown. So this is a good matchup if I'm going first. Just please don't prize the Rotom. Oh, wait, no, we're playing a... God, why do I keep switching lists? Okay, so we go get the Radiant Greninja. This is not the Heatran build. This is the other one. Okay, so we're fine now. We go... Energy in the discard pile. We have Tracking Shoes. We... I think I do want that energy in in my hand, yes. And then we go attach, magma basin, and then blaze blitz next turn. But I mean, they're probably gonna just give me a maride on, but that's okay. And I need those coins to buy to buy more sandals. Need more sandals. Going to the beach, eh? Need more sandals. Oh, I need need the sand, need the uh, need the straps between my toesies. Okay, so they're getting rid of a counter catcher. That's good. I would prefer not to attack into the Maridon. So that's you know I kind of expected something like that, but you know I don't really have a good turn to attack. Mew. Iron Hand. Okay, I mean if I if I top deck a bosses or I radiant Greninja for a bosses. Okay, well. Could have used Iono. You could have been a pal. Could have been a friend. You could have been a. You could have been a pal. Pal Dea evolved. You could have been a pal. Oh my God. Okay. Well, maybe. No. Okay. We just. This is very. This is a very easy game. All we have to do is top deck a bosses or derbs. You know, or if we get a Entei, if I can town store for a Forest Seal Stone and we get an Entei, we also win the game. Okay, wait, is there Prime Catcher? If there's Prime Catcher, that's GG. Okay, there's Maximum Belt. Uh, do I actually want Maximum Belt? Prime Catcher, Prime Catcher, Prime... C it's Maximum Belt. Max, Max, freaking Maximum Belt. That's the... That's the ace spec. If it was Prime Catcher, we would have won. Damn you, whoever's list I stole from. Okay, we just gotta get bosses here and we win. Okay, that's that's very clearly not bosses' orders, okay? I feel like this, this shouldn't need to be said, but that is very much not bosses' orders. All right, so let's go Arvin for trekking shoes and... I mean, do I actually want the... No, we're, we're just going to go tracking shoes and maximum belt. Okay, so that could get rid of a heavy baton, which is good. I don't need the maximum belt. So I will get rid of the maximum belt. And then we go... Attach to you... Switch cart to you. I I mean, I don't want a magma basin to this gouging fire, but I also need to have some sort of follow up here. And then we just thin the deck some more. Okay, we take the KO on the Maridon and just we, we got to hope here. We can still very easily win this game. This is a good matchup. You know, we can get rid of their heavy baton if they attach one. We got the forest seal stone, but we don't have an, we don't have an ante. Okay, this is gonna be fine. Where's the A spec shoe card? That's coming. That's gonna come in the uh, a set coming down the line. You know, they're saving it. It's gonna be too powerful, so they're saving it. You know, the August set is gonna be called uh, uh, toeless shoes, stinky shoes. You know, stinky socks is bad. Stinky shoes is good because you gotta protect your feet sometimes. So it'll just, that'll be the uh, the name. Airy Sandals. There you go. Airy Sandals Ace Spec. 
Uh, when you play this card, you have to show your opponent your feet. Tracking Tim's. No! I have all my cards in my hand! I have all the cards I need to win in my hand! Okay, this is fine, this is fine. We'll nest ball, and it's gonna be great. So, it's gonna be fine. I can knock out anything. I do think I want an Entei V though. Cause if I get Entei V, then if the Forest Seal Stone shows up, ah, whiffing that Jenny. If it shows up, then we're fine. They got the Heavy Baton, that's okay. They, if they retreat into the Maridon, that doesn't really help them. Okay, they're gonna arm press. They're gonna have to take two knockouts to win, but I need to get the Forest Seal Stone here. Okay, that's fine. We are going to Nest Ball for Entei, because we need the Entei. Okay, what is, what is the best course of action? Trekking Shoes? Uh, I mean, I know I can get rid of that though. So yes, I want that in my hand so I can get rid of it, so I can Earth and Vessel it away. We gotta go get the energy back out of the deck, so I need... I, we have two bosses orders and a Forest Seal Stone in the deck. Uh, counter Catcher's useless. Uh, okay, so we go... Concealed cards away the basic fire energy. Okay, that's not good. That is very bad. Let's go get... The, I mean, the Mew EX, uh, yeah, I mean, Mew might be able to draw me a card if I really need it to. It's a potential game-losing card, but it might be able to draw me a card. So let's go Magma Basin to this guy, and then... We go... Oh, no, I screwed that one up. Okay, don't worry about it. We're going to jet energy that one. Okay. And then... Oh, God, please don't screw up. Please don't screw up. Bosses. Yes! We got bot. Wait, why did we need bosses? What, what use is bosses here? Okay. If I can... If I bosses the other hands? No, that doesn't do anything. Why why was I so excited to get bosses? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna knock out the iron hands. And anti-snowman. There you go. There's a good joke. Okay, so they'll power up the other one. I needed a lost vacuum. I I didn't need anything else but lost vacuum. We also have four Sada in the deck that haven't shown their face. Okay, so we go gouging fire. I can do 220, or sorry, I can do 230 with Entei if I really need to. But we have a heavily damaged dude. I can do 230. I I feel like they're going to run out of gas here. Even if they find their last heavy baton, I don't think they can win. Because they're going to take three prizes, but then how do they take their other three? Because they would have to go crazy on generators but they have so much energy accounted for that the odds of that happening are so low. And one good joke out of 10 attempts, there you go. So they'll use Amp you very much because they do have the KO. That's perfect for me. And then I think we promote the damaged gouging fire. And of course they freaking they freaking get the heavy. They don't prize it. They, uh, okay, this is fine. This is fine. So I lose the game if I don't win the game. All right. So this is what we have to do here. We gotta we gotta do some crazy things right now. So we promote the damage gouging fire. Okay. Oh God, I gotta do so many things in a correct in a very specific order. Okay, there's the forest seal stone. That actually that that actually just wins me the game. Okay, well, <laughs> all that complaining for nothing. Uh, let's get rid of. We'll go magma basin. 
I'm going to try and get a... Yeah, I don't think I want to put anybody down. I will try and get Niono here. So we go concealed cards. I'm going to see if I can get Iono because that would be perfect. Okay. Hey, there's the energy switch we were talking about earlier. And then we go switch cart into the Entei. I'm going to fleet footed. So yeah, we they gave they gave me the win here. And we got Sada, which again, we don't need uh, another another great thing to have. Okay, and then we go switch cart into that guy. We mag we go magma bussin. Okay. And then jet energy the Entei. Right? Cuz that can't take a knockout, so we don't do that. No, we don't jet energy the Entei. God. Okay. <laughs> then we go Star Alchemy for the Lost Vact. Just so much, so much thinking. You know, I was I was thinking so far ahead that oh man, that I I you know I wasn't thinking about the town store to get me the forest seal stone. I was thinking I'd have to do like this a million other things to win this game. So it was uh, it was a little concerning there for a second. Yeah, my brain. Okay, well, I may as well use Sada now to draw three cards to maybe thin the deck. Well, there's all the there's all the supporters. Okay, so now do I do it? Because this is going to be 230. <laughs> so now do I do it? Is now the time I use Entei? Because uh, this is like the time. No, no, we're, we're, this is a gouging fire deck. Okay, I could have used Entei to take the KO because it would have done 230. But this is a gouging fire deck. We win or we lose with gouging fire, okay? If they get three energy off of Jenny's and attach, we lose anyways. Actually, no, I should have attacked with Entei. 100% should have attacked with Entei. Because Amp you very much would have done 200 even with the future... Oh, no, they would have needed a future booster. So, I, I would have... Okay, they would have won. It didn't matter. In the in the end run, it didn't matter if I attacked with Entei or not, because they got the 220. Because 4 Iron Crown puts Ampu very much to 200, and then the future booster puts it to 220. I put the 20 damage on the Entei, because I... Well, I guess I didn't have to. So, if I was smart... <laughs> If I was smart, I could have not lost this game. But we, you know, you've watched all my videos. You know that I make mistakes. But that's that's the beauty of my streams and my videos is you learn what not to do. I tell you after I screw up what you should have done so you can learn. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. That is all part of the fun. I screw up so I, I walk so you can run. You know, I am helping all of you. I should have gone up with a fresh 230 hentai and one like that. Uh, okay, so let's go Mew. I mean, I can just retreat, but let's, uh, let's, yeah, they, they got it. They, they lose. Should we uninstall the game? That would be great. That would be a great idea, but yeah, Gouging Fire. It's tier three. You can beat Iron Hands pretty easily because you do have such beefy boys, but just, you know, do math good. Do math good. Brain hurt when me do math, but when me math good or game no spank me, me feel happy in uh, in toes.